I slowly just started going through my closet and just seeing pieces that if it looked too much like a bathing suit or something that my husband would immediately want to take off of me, then maybe I shouldn't wear it outside. And honestly, I feel like that rule works really well. Honestly, I think dressing modestly is really beautiful because you have to be really creative. Hello you guys, welcome back to today's video. Not gonna lie, I am just oh slightly nervous about this. This was something that I have been praying about because the Lord has just been really working in me and I've been wanting to like just share about it and just talk about it. And the only reason I'm even bringing this up because I was even, I was having this conversation with the Lord. I was like, Lord, explain to me this. Why do you want me to talk about this? I don't even know what I'm doing. I feel like I have done a really bad job at this. And he was like, that's why I want you to talk about it. Like, this is why I want you to share. I don't want you to share once you've arrived or once you have like felt like you know what you're doing. I want you to share your journey of you getting to this place. And so that is why I'm doing today's video. It may like bring a shock to you. Maybe you just don't really care about this, but just hear me out, okay? Because I have always known, like, I don't even want to use the word modest, okay? Because I feel like that word just doesn't really sit well with people because I think it's been really overused, really abused. It has also been used to be, just be really judgmental. And so my prayer with this video is for you not to leave feeling like you haven't done enough or that you can't do this but i want you to leave feeling this video with some type of conviction but also just knowing that you can do it too and that i'm not here to tell you that you can't i'm not here to tell you that you haven't been doing this or that if you don't do something different then you are bad or whatever like i that is not my intention at all with this video because i feel like i have definitely been on the receiving end of that a majority of my life and so i'm well aware of just how yucky that makes people feel and how that actually doesn't lead people to want to do anything different how it actually quite literally turns people away from that and so that's just like where i've been at for a minute and so anyway i'm trying to figure out a different word that i could use for modesty but let me just say I'll just refer to it more as a different way of showing ourselves, a different way of presenting ourselves because modesty goes way beyond just clothing. Modesty goes from the heart and who you are and your heart and how that reflects Christ. And it's not just for women too. There are some very immodest things that men can do as well that sure, there could be some immodest things that men wear, but also just the way that they act and behave and the things that they do and the flashy things they show or don't show. I just want to kind of just have this type of conversation and hopefully this is received from you and yeah, you're just kind of opening open to hear it. So I have been reading through Peter, first Peter and second Peter, but I was reading um, 1 Peter 3, 3, and it says this, do not let your adoring be external, the braiding of hair and the putting up on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear, but let your adoring be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. And I really love that ending part where it says a gentle and quiet spirit, it's pleasing to the Lord and it's precious to him because I guess that, let's just kind of rewind a little bit because obviously I have been a Christian for a minute. I grew up in the church. Once I got married, I mean, I've had this YouTube channel for a minute, but I would not say that I dressed modestly. There were times where like, sure, there were some outfits that I did, but I think I just had a really messed up idea of what it meant to dress in modesty. Honestly. And I still think a lot of people do and I think I'm still working through that But that's like the best thing about the Lord is that he's constantly like sanctifying us and constantly working through us And so I got to a point where I was even comfortable posting like bathing suit photos and stuff Not to say that if you do that that you're not a great person, but I'm just saying I have done these things Okay, like I have been there. I have done that. I have worn whatever I felt like wearing I got to this point where I was like, you know, I know this probably isn't the way I should be living out my life. I shouldn't be okay with this and I feel like I should feel some level of conviction and I didn't and that was scary to me. And so I quite literally prayed like, Lord, convict me of this. Like, Lord, help me feel convicted because I think there's a problem here. I'm a mother of three. I should not be okay with certain pieces that I had in my wardrobe. Like, I shouldn't really feel comfortable wearing those things. Now, again, I'm gonna keep saying this, but if you are comfortable with that, I'm not trying to shame you for that. I'm just speaking from my experience Experience and I just felt like the way that I was dressing was not representing Christ well And so I really was just praying that he convict me of that and he did I slowly just started going through my closet and just seeing pieces that if it looked too much like a bathing suit Or something that my husband would immediately want to take off of me Then maybe I shouldn't wear it outside and Honestly, I feel like that rule works really well. And I even had this conversation with my husband too because this was another thing that like once I got married, my husband loved when I would wear more 
appealing more cute tight little things you know and so of course I'd want to wear that for him obviously but then I think the fine line was like I can still wear those things for him but like in our home I don't necessarily need to be wearing them out in public kind of with just that in mind I've been kind of just like working through and figuring out what do I think is appropriate for me to be wearing and what do I not think is appropriate to me for me to be wearing and I think this is gonna vary for each person and each stage it's gonna vary too you know like right now I feel very comfortable in the things that I'm wearing but it is also winter okay it is winter it is cold here I want to be bundled up and wearing turtlenecks am I gonna be wanting to be wearing a turtleneck in the summer probably not and so I am trying to think of different ways that I can still breastfeed my baby and still not get super hot out but also not show as much skin so I guess I kind of just wanted to have this conversation anyway this last part here of first Peter 3 the 3 4 where it talks about a gentle and quiet spirit which is pleasing to the Lord I've just kind of been reflecting on that like what does that even look like to be gentle and quiet and I feel like just first of all when I think of the word quiet I'm not necessarily thinking of like one that is never speaking or one that is gently speaking sure it can but I think it also can mean someone who is gentle with their words and very selective of their words but also very selective of the things that they wear and don't wear that's kind of what I've been working at of being very selective of the things that I say and don't say the way that I speak and don't speak and then just the way that I carry myself too because this was the other thing and I've just I feel like the Lord's just slowly really convicting me of these little tiny things he calls us to be set apart from the world he calls us to not look like the world and so if I'm dressing like the world isn't that being a part of the world in some capacity? Isn't that like if I go out and I look just like everyone else well then how am I supposed to shine his light how am I being different from what the world is doing like if he literally calls us to be set apart if I'm going to look just like them in what I'm wearing it just doesn't make sense and so I feel like that was the first thing that the Lord really showed to me in his this process of convicting me I just feel weird talking about this it feels strange to talk about this because I feel like I still have so much to do and so much to get better at and that's why I wanted to make this video because maybe you're, you're at this point too where you're like you know what I feel like I just just need to kind of change something's got to change and I don't really know what it is so maybe this is something that you want to do too for me a couple of things that I just practically cut out of my wardrobe that have immensely helped is I got rid of all my crop tops I do have some cropped ish ones but when I wear them with like higher jeans there's not belly exposed and if there is belly exposed I actually have been feeling really uncomfortable with that which is so weird because my entire pregnancy my whole belly was out all the time I mean I feel like it's slightly different but like I remember just like not really really caring if you could see my midriffs but now anytime that I can see my belly I just feel uncomfortable I feel like I need to hide and not in a shameful hiding way but I feel like I could put a tank top underneath it and so it's not you can't see my belly honestly I think dressing modestly is really beautiful because you have to be really creative I think it's one thing to just throw on a bunch of clothes, but then it's another thing to throw on a bunch of clothes and style it really beautifully and make a full outfit. And so for me, I actually feel like it's been quite of a challenge and really nice to be like, how can I dress in a way that is going to be pleasing to the Lord and is going to take the attraction off of me? Because that was the other thing. The biggest thing that I get out of modesty, and maybe this is something that might help you understand it a little bit better, how can I get the attention off of me and what the way that I look like and get the attention on the smile on my face that radiates it's the joy that the Lord has given me. How can I just get people to not like look at me, take the attention off of me and put the attention to the Lord. And so that is just something that I keep thinking back at. It's like, how can I just, even just modestly, I feel like even just big elaborate things, like how can I get the attention off of what I look like and what the Lord is like? And so I feel like, again, this is just something that is totally up to you of like what that could be. I have recently found this account. I am going to link her page down below, but she has been a huge inspiration. It's hard, you guys. I love and not okay not to say that like suddenly because I'm gonna start dressing more modestly doesn't mean I'm gonna like throw fashion out the window that's not what I'm gonna be doing because I still do think that's a fun and creative way to express yourself but I feel like it definitely is a lot harder so I'm going to link this girl's page down below I found her on Instagram she's so cute she actually did 30 days of modesty and it was really cute and I just really like her outfits now here's the part where I feel like I'm still struggling with I like to wear jeans and I know some people jeans are immodest and some people literally just wear skirts 
and dresses. And so this is something that I've been kind of working through because is it practical to just wear skirts and dresses? And I've tried that and it's really cold where I live. And no matter how many fleece things I put underneath, like I still get really cold. I'm just kind of working through that. So I'm just kind of talking out loud. This is not gonna be the first and last video that I make on this topic, I think this is gonna be a reoccurring thing that I come back to and revisit as the Lord brings things to my attention. And so I don't wanna say it's up to the person because I do think that when we wake up in the morning, when I go and spend time with the Lord, every like little decision that I make throughout the day, I feel like I'm in constant communication with him. Just as simple as something as like picking up my outfit and what I'm going to be wearing that day. Sure, it can be comfortable, sure. Like it's not, I'm not saying that. It can't. And I'm not also saying that you can't speak on modesty or you're not qualified to be dressed modestly until you're only wearing skirts and dresses. That's not what I'm saying either because I think there are some jeans and pants nowadays that are also very modest and don't show a lot of skin and aren't very hugging. And so I think it's just like a range of things. I feel like I'm also trying to dress a little bit more feminine too, which is something that I feel like I've always kind of struggled with. I love wearing dresses in the summertime and I feel like dresses are really feminine, but there's something about just like more loungy, unfitted stuff that I really like too. And so, yeah, it's just kind of like this balance of finding something that's modest, but also feminine, but doesn't show as much skin because I feel like feminine things tend to be paired with more sexual things as well like just showing more cleavage and just showing more of the curves and stuff and so i'm trying to find like this balance of like not showing as much but also keeping it more of a feminine touch okay now in regards to modesty in first peter 5 5 let me just read it and then we can elaborate but it says likewise you who are younger be subjects to the elder clothe yourself all of you with humility towards one another for god opposes the proud but gives grace to the humble and so he's just talking about humbling ourselves and clothing ourselves in humility so again i feel like modesty goes way beyond the clothes way beyond that because it's even just like i feel like you could be dressing in the most modest clothes possible but your heart and the way that you act towards others and just your whole your whole spirit and the way that you are could be very immodest the biggest thing about this is that you really cannot tell someone what they're doing or not doing as modest or immodest and i know that's really hard to even kind of wrap our minds around now as someone who's received the other end of people just constantly just telling me what i'm wearing is immodest immodest it was really frustrating because it was never from a place of love it was never from a place of grace and so the biggest thing i can implore you is to just worry about yourself and your immodesty or immodesty or whatever like worry about how you are portraying yourself because for me the biggest thing was seeing those who do dress modestly do it in such a beautiful way in a non-judgmental way that it made me feel wow like okay i really feel convicted about this like th this is really beautifully done and this she just looks so beautiful and i can just see the lord in her and through her i want that for myself i would say that would be just like my biggest prayer for anyone who feels the need to constantly call out these things and it's not to say that i'm not like not stumbling on my words here but i feel like i have to be really careful about what i say but there people just tend to be really mean in the way that they say things and so truly if you feel like you have to say something just pray about it first and pray that the lord talk to those who are closest to them first before because especially when it comes to something on the internet i feel like it can get easily it doesn't translate well there's nothing better than just like physical communication like sitting down with someone and like looking them in the eye and having this type of conversation versus just like commenting on something and just because i've just been on the receiving end of that i just know that it never really makes me want to do anything any better if anything it like makes me spiteful and be like mm, i don't really care to hear what you have to say so i would just pray that the lord like pray for the lord to soften those people's hearts pray that the lord convict them of that and like if this is something that you're battling with or just aren't sure i feel like the process the thing that we need to realize is everyone gets sanctified differently everyone gets convicted differently and so for one person it might quite literally be like an overnight thing where they're like wow i literally will never wear a pair of jeans again like i feel so strongly convicted wearing those that I just know that I can't. And so they have like a 160 of a change. Whereas someone else, it is like a slow process of eliminating things and changing things. And so I feel like that's kind of where I've been at. Another thing to know is body 
type and body shape. There might be some people who are able to get away with like really, really low cut things because you can't see anything. And others who can't get away with it because they just have a larger bust or have curvier hips or, and that's a thing. I feel like it is just a very unique thing to each person. And at the end of the day, the biggest question we need to ask ourselves is why? Why am I doing this? Am I doing this because I want people to look at me and see Christ? Or is it because I want people to look at me and think how holy and greater than thou I am. It's a really, really big heart thing. And it goes so much beyond what you're wearing because if the heart isn't right, I feel like it just goes to, it goes to vain. Like if your heart and your motives are incorrectly, then it's for what? And the biggest thing is that the Lord, the Lord is the one that can distinguish that. The Lord is the one that knows your heart truly. So you can try to fool as many people as you want but the Lord knows truly your motives and truly why you're doing what you're doing. I really just hope that this video is encouraging to some capacity. I know it may be all over the place and this won't be the first or the last time I talk about this, but as I've just had more kids and I have had daughters, I really want them to look at me and see me for me and not like the skin that I'm showing or not showing. Like I just feel like the biggest thing is just being an example for my girls and being an example for my son of what he could look for in a wife and what is beautiful to him because the world, and here's the thing, the world just overly sexualizes and overly everything is just like so over the top and so immodest. Even just not talking about skin, just like over elaborate things and this, the bigger and better and this and this, it's just like so much much stuff that I really want my modesty to be a reflection in every aspect of my life. Again, I'm gonna say this over and over again, I have not arrived. I don't think I ever will. You don't need to tell me the things I'm still doing correctly. I'm well aware of those things, okay? And the thing is that it is just a slow, slow process. And again, I just kept telling the Lord, like, I don't wanna do this video. Like, I don't wanna talk about this because I'm well aware of like how immodest I have been in the past and I'm not proud of that. But the Lord was just saying like, I know that's why I want you to do it. And it's so funny because all throughout scripture, like it's so obvious that the Lord uses the ones who are the most broken and uses the ones that like, like the tax collector, he uses the ones that we think are the most like unholy and most the worst at these things. And he completely changes them and changes their story. Yeah, if you find yourself in the similar shoes where I was, where I just didn't feel conviction and I felt like I should have, just pray about it. Like I'm literally telling you guys, pray about everything. Pray about everything. And just like be in communication with him because... As soon as I prayed that, he really just started to show me what it means to look different from the world in every aspect and how my, the way I dressed just didn't look different from the world. And so I've just slowly been trying to figure that out and navigate that. When the summer comes, I'm really excited because I'm excited to try different ways and different things of dressing comfortably and dressing for the summer and the heat and the hot heat, but still not having to show as much skin. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Obviously the winter's fine. <laughs> I'm literally wearing a turtleneck right now. Like I don't feel like I feel great about that. Obviously it'll be a little bit different with the seasons changing and whatnot. So all that to say, I hope this is something encouragement. I will leave a couple of different accounts that I follow that I think have done a really beautiful job of showing what it looks like to dress modestly and what it looks like. I'm still struggling with workout clothes. Like for me, like leggings. I go to an all girls Pilates class. There's no women in there. So it's like, mm, do I just wear something so it covers up my butt? Do I wear a longer t-shirt? Do I wear sweatpants instead now, but then it gets hot. Like I, these are things that I'm still working through and I'm still trying to figure out because even though, and this was the other thing, modesty is not about just people of the opposite sex. I think it goes to women of the same sex too. So like, I want to look modest in front of the other women. The other thing that I kept feeling like I kept saying is like, well, I'm just like, I'm in front of other girls. Like it's fine, but I really don't feel like it's fine anymore. And I will link this video down below that I follow this other girl who has done. And I think she did a really beautiful job explaining it, but women are so much kinder and nicer to each other when they don't feel as threatened by each other or feel the need to compare each other to each other. And this is so true. And so when you dress modestly and it's not about you, they don't really feel like they need to compare to you and they don't really feel threatened by you and they don't really feel like there's a competition and they feel like you could be buddies. And so I feel like if I'm just constantly just taking the attention off of me and if it and pointing it back to the Lord, then it kind of just eliminates this whole thing of comparison. It kind of eliminates this whole thing of not feeling the need to compare and look and be like, uh, 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 you know? And so, yeah, I feel like the Lord just kind of working through all those things. Um, now I'm just beginning to talk out loud, but yeah, I hope that you guys be in prayer for me and be in prayer for one another and what it means like to be modest in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. I don't really know how to close out this video because I, I want people to leave encouraged, not discouraged. So 
I hope that that is what you got out of this, but I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video.